Hey everyone, welcome. Today we are going to be telling some stories for the purpose of showcasing um, basically how we tell stories in American English to give you some examples of phrases we use and the tenses, the verb tenses we'll use when telling stories. And um, this conversation is going to be at an authentic fast speed. Um, there are subtitles and throughout the video we're going to have like a couple of definitions or phrases that could be helpful on screen. They're going to pop up on screen. So yeah, that's basically it. We're just going to tell some stories and we're drinking um, tea. I believe I'm starting, right? Sure. So um, this story is a fun one. So I like I to go. So. Yes. <laughs> I like to go walking out in the forests uh, because I find it nice and relaxing. So I like to go on long walks just surrounded completely by trees and bushes and undergrowth and stuff like that. Um, and I'm very comfortable with it. I, I find the woods to be very peaceful and I'm not at all frightened by them. Uh, so this was a couple years back. I was walking in the woods one night and the moon wasn't out, and it was after the sun had gone down, so it was very, very dark. But I had been on this path a couple hundred times, this particular one, so I knew exactly where I was going and how to get back home. So I was on my way back home, and um, it was so dark that it wasn't pitch black, but I could still make out shapes. So I could see where there were, for example, like logs in the middle of the path. Um, sometimes there were small little stones mm -hmm. or maybe the occasional larger boulder, but most of the time there wasn't anything in the path. So as I was walking, I was a bit bored. So I was just casually nudging undergrowth away with my feet. So I was like, I wasn't kicking it. I was just like putting my foot on it and moving it aside. And I liked doing it with the stones because they rolled when you nudged them. So that was fun. That's always fun. Um, and so in the middle of the path, as I was almost home, there was a really big stone. And I'm like, ooh, I want to try to move this really big stone. So I went and, and I went to nudge it. And I accidentally kicked it because it wasn't a solid <laughs> stone, but it was a soft, very large bird it was a turkey. It was a turkey in the middle of the path who was sleeping. And it freaked the turkey out because he was getting ready to go to bed. And I had just kicked him. <laughs> and so he started flapping and flying away. And I about had a heart attack because I'm having a nice peaceful walk in the woods. Um, someplace very safe. I know exactly where everything is. And <laughs> there's this giant bird just right in front of me that I kicked and potentially made angry. But luckily it just flew off and we didn't get in any fights or anything. That's good. Um, and it was, it was a large, it was like, it, it, it was a large bird. Turkeys so, are pretty big. So in my mind, I should have been thinking, hmm, I don't remember this big boulder being here right. the day before, but I wasn't focusing on that. I was distracted thinking mm -hmm. of something else probably. And so I just kicked a turkey <laughs> um, panicked and then ran all the way home, but Perfect. it was fine because turkeys are not particularly violent birds. Do we, do we know so, that for sure? We don't know that we for sure. That. This turkey wasn't. Don't go play with turkeys. Probably. Probably. <laughs> Maybe like geese. Well, that's a good story. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm going to tell a story now. It's my turn. Um, it's a similar theme. Um, the theme being forests and walking and animals. Um, <laughs> um, so last summer we went on a trip to Canada um, with our families and um, on our last day there, we were there for like a week and on our last day um, we went on a hike, like a little hike on a nature trail. We'd gone on a few of them that trip um, but this was the last one, and it turned out to be extremely memorable. What happened was we um, picked out this trail. It was on, I think, a Native American reservation, maybe. Yeah. 
Um, his mom picked it out. We drove there in the van. As we were approaching, like, the parking area, um, some dogs ran out of a nearby house and followed the van to the parking lot, which was weird, but they didn't look dangerous at all. They were, one of them was kind of chubby. Yeah. And they clearly came um, from the house. Very well trained. Very well trained. They didn't have collars on. Mm-hmm. No. I don't like, think. Yeah, they were basically naked dogs. <laughs> Um, so anyway, yeah, we parked, we were, like, looking around, we were finding, like, the bathroom porta potty place, and looking at the signs, and the dogs were just hanging out with us, like, totally chill, um, and we were, yeah, like, wondering about them and getting ready to go on the hike, when, uh, we noticed this sign, um, posted on, like, the, the signage area, I don't know. Place where you post things like maps. Yeah, like trail information. Yeah, trail information. Mm -hmm. And there was a sign there that was super, super old. And it said, uh, don't be afraid of the dogs. They are the trail guardians. They're going to keep you safe from bears. And we were like, excuse me? So we started walking and the dogs followed us. They had like a formation. Like one was behind, one was in front, one was like on the side. Uh, There were like four or five of them. And yeah, basically we were walking... It was super cool. We were so excited about these dogs. Sometimes they'd run off trail and then they'd come back all wet because they probably took a bath. It was a hot day. It was a hot day. So they would find something to roll in. But this 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 walk had more exciting things, more complications. Those being, one, this was the one time, the one hike this trip, that I did not wear long pants for the sake of mosquitoes. I was wearing shorts. Mm-hmm. I was wearing not my running shoes, but sandals, and there were so many mosquitoes. So many. So many. There was mud everywhere, ponds, and yeah, just perfect breeding grounds for mosquitoes, and there were a lot of them. So at one point, we all just started running, just so the mosquitoes could catch up with us. Mm -hmm. Right. (laughs) Um... And, like, I tripped at one point, and one of my sandals broke, so I had to carry one, and one of my... I was half barefoot, and at one point I tripped, and, again, Mm -hmm. (laughs) because I was, like, delirious and running and dehydrated. Your your feet were all bloody. Well, yeah, I I hit my toe on a rock and made my toe bloody. (laughs) Um, Yeah, so we were just kind of running through this trail as fast as we could just to get out of it. Um, And then at one point we heard, near the end, we heard one of the dogs bark. And this was weird because they were super well trained and we hadn't heard them bark prior to this. Mm-hmm. And um, we were wondering, like, is there like a bear? Because that's why they're with us, apparently, is to uh, scare off bears. And then, sure enough, just a little, like a minute later, we heard his dad yell, Bear. <laughs> and so when we caught up to them on the trail, um, there was a small black bear up in a tree. That one of the dogs had scared up the tree, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, So the dog was at the base of the tree and the bear was up there. We kind of got a glimpse of him, but we wanted to get past pretty quickly in case there were more bears. So we just kept going. And we got out of it. And we stumbled back to the van. And it was an amazing experience. (laughs) It was the most eventful hike ever. Awesome dogs. Bears. Horrible mosquitoes. My sandals were broken, my feet were bloody, we were super dehydrated, and then on the way back to our, um, excuse me, on our way back to the campsite, we stopped and got pizza to go, <laughs> and I, I hobbled into the pizzeria <laughs> yep. with my bloody foot. <laughs> Good times. Uh, anyway... I think that's it for my story. So those are examples of stories. Those are some stories. So again, on screen, we're going to go back through this when we edit it and um, highlight some phrases that might be useful. Um, Go ahead and tell us some of your stories if you want in the comments, maybe using some of the phrases we may or may not have used. (laughs) Because we're just talking naturally. I don't know what phrases we're going to realize were useful later. Um, But yeah. Tell us a story in the comments. Give it some practice. I think we're good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.